Did you know there is a legendary monster in Iceland called the Yule Cat that eats anyone who doesn't get new clothes for Christmas? Really? So if you get crappy Christmas presents, then you die? That doesn't make any sense. That cat looks mean. Why are cats so angry at Christmas trees? They always try to eat them. <laughs> Farmers used to warn their workers that the Yule Cat would come if they didn't process the autumn wool. If they obeyed, they received new clothes. If not, they'd be eaten by the Yule Cat. Okay, so they lied to get their employees to stop being lazy. <laughs> eh, life hack. But what's up guys, thank you so much for coming back for another awesome video. Today we are doing a funny video, but as always, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe, be part of the Socially Awkward family, and follow me on Instagram, links are down below. And be sure to give this video a like and a share with all of your friends. And comment below if you have a pet, especially a cat that might eat people. <laughs> but yeah, today we are reacting to random facts that will make you an interesting person. Because I know nothing because I never paid attention in school. <laughs> so I am going to help you sound smart during your conversations where you don't understand a word of what anybody is saying. And yeah, I think we're ready. So let's do this. The unicorn is the national animal of Scotland. What? Oh, that's so awesome. Scotland's got it right. <laughs> Unicorns are so freaking pretty, and I'm pretty sure they're real. Cause you have narwhals, they have the freaking horn, and they're like a whale thing. And this is a horse with a horn. How is that not believable? Cause you have giraffes, and how are those even real? It's like a moose slash a camel slash, I don't know, something with a long neck. <laughs> but tell me that beautiful creature is not real and you're gonna hurt its feelings. I want you to look right into this beautiful animal's eyes and tell it that you don't believe in it. You will make me cry. <laughs> Did you know for the movie Brave, ooh, that's such a good movie. Pixar animators took nearly three years to perfect the movement of Merida's hair, which was crafted by 1,500 hand-placed, sculpted, individual CGI curls. Wow, that's commitment, man. I mean, good for y'all, her hair was very believable. <laughs> But that's too much work. Y'all need to focus more on making the movie good and not just her hair. But I love how they made her hair like really messy and not perfect because that's the reality. I have perfect hair maybe once a year. And she was so awesome. She didn't listen to nobody. She climbed mountains and she was like, I don't need a man. But I, I, I kind of want a man because I like to cuddle. Did you know there's a hidden love scene in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban? No way. At the end of the film, you can see the footprints of two people getting frisky in the bottom left corner of Marauder's map. <laughs> I'm such a fake fan, I don't know how to say that. Okay, I see the feet, but I don't, pfft, I don't think that's a love scene. I think they were like, th those were two kids hiding from those other footprints that are walking away. Yeah, y'all lying trying to start something that ain't there. You trying to get Harry Potter sued? Cause you didn't make it into the academy. Humans like glitter because of our evolutionary instinct to seek out water. The need to stay hydrated has kept us on the lookout for shimmering rivers, therefore giving us an impulse for shiny things. Well, when I see something shiny, I think, ooh, that's pretty, I want it, not, ooh, I'm thirsty. <laughs> so I guess that's why we love water so much. <laughs> it's a survival instinct. But when I go to the beach, I don't wanna drink the water. That's nasty. David Irvine repurposes paintings found in thrift stores to imagine Darth Vader on his days off. What? <laughs> you have all of these super cute ducklings and then Darth Vader and a stormtrooper are just on a boat in a little raft, chillin', drinking lemonade. He looks so chill. I thought he only breathed like space air. <laughs> I don't like either of you. I don't care if you look nice on your day off, you're evil. <laughs> and that one duck in the middle on the bottom is just like, uh, who are you? You were not in this painting before. <laughs> Kids ask 300 questions a day. Screw that! Okay, that's fine. That's understandable, I guess, if it's throughout the whole day and they are evenly spaced <laughs> and it's not all at once and a bunch of the same questions. Because I hate when kids ask you the same dang question over and over because you didn't give them the answer they wanted. <laughs> like this kid, he's probably like, Mom, I want ice cream for lunch. And she's like, no. <laughs> he's like, Mom, I want ice cream. And then he doesn't stop because kids don't know how to take no for an answer. Like when to get a haircut. What is going on with this kid's haircut? <laughs> Look, it's like evenly cut and then mullet. <laughs> you need to tell your mom it's not the 80s anymore and she can't turn you into a rock star. Pringles aren't actually potato chips. What? Oh, wait, that makes sense. Cause no one calls them chips, at least not on the can. Ooh, the barbecue Pringles are so good. 
The next time you see a can of Pringles, take a closer look. You won't see the word chip anywhere on the packaging. That's because Pringles aren't made of thinly sliced potatoes, but instead dehydrated potato flakes pressed into their signature parabolic shape. Is it parabolic? I don't know. That's what makes them less greasy. But when other potato chip manufacturers complained, the Food and Drug Administration ruled that Pringles couldn't be marketed as chips. The company eventually settled on Potato Crisp. Well, they're both made of potatoes pretty much, just less greasy. So how is it not a chip? What, cause it might be slightly healthier? You don't wanna ruin the unhealthy image of chips? Okay. I freaking love Pringles, dude. Did you know there's a candle shaped like a dinosaur egg that hatches a baby raptor as it melts? Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Look at that. It's a little baby. Aw. He just poking his head out like, are you burning my house down? You murderer. Dude, I need to find these. That is so adorable. Look at your baby. I'm gonna name you Fred. The blob of toothpaste that sits on your toothbrush has a name. No way. This should be good. It's called a nurdle. A nurdle. <laughs> and there was a lawsuit over which toothpaste company had the right to depict it. Wow. Who made that name up? That was probably some CEO's kid. He's like, Dad, look at this nurdle. And the dad was like, huh, not a bad name. Good job, son. You're not getting paid for that idea. <laughs> That's a combination of noodle and nerd and hurdle. <laughs> that makes no sense. I gotta Google that and see how they came up with that name. Did you know it's actually better to use less toothpaste? Apparently if you put this big old blob of toothpaste, it builds bacteria or something and it can actually stain your teeth. So just use the right amount. Space smells like seared steak. Huh, I'm about to go into space. <laughs> I'm gonna be hungry the whole time. I love steak. Steak is so good with some mashed potatoes and some garlic butter on top. There's this place I like to go to that has lobster mashed potatoes and it's amazing. This dude, he just got out of the, um, the space shuttle. Gosh, I'm dumb. It took me a long time to think of that. <laughs> but he just got out and he's like, whoa, who's cooking out here? <laughs> the center of the Milky Way tastes like raspberries and smells like Captain Morgan. Okay, so you got steak and what, cereal and raspberries? <laughs> That's a weird combination, I would not like that. Astronomers researching the giant dust cloud in the middle of the galaxy found the chemical ethyl formate, which gives raspberries their flavor and smells like rum. Oh, Captain Morgan's a uh, rum, not a cereal. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> I'm smart sometimes. And they put a raspberry in the middle of the Milky Way. <laughs> Do you think there are aliens out there and they look at our galaxy and they're like, What's, what's that weird smell? I'm getting steak and fruit. <laughs> they must be eating something weird. <laughs> it takes 364 licks to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. Oh, no way. Does someone actually do that? I thought it was like way more, like a thousand. It has to be more than that. Cause Tootsie or Tootsie Pops, I don't know how to say it. That's like a really big lollipop. I remember I tried to do it once and those lollipops will cut your tongue so easy, especially if you like suck on it for a while. So I just gave up cause it cut my tongue. <laughs> and that dang owl, he just took the lollipop and was like, okay, let's count one, two, ah, and he just ate it. You suck stealing candy from children. Some cats are actually allergic to humans. Dang, that cat looks angry. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you're the reason I'm always sick. <laughs> Though it's uncommon since humans bathe more than your typical animal and don't shed as much hair or skin, some animals can still be allergic to humans. However, it's more often because of the perfume or cologne we wear or the soap we use. Well, that makes sense. But this cat is about to kill somebody. <laughs> He's like, if I sneeze one more time around you, I'm out of here. That's like the drug dealer cat that's like, give me catnip or you die. <laughs> sea otters hold hands while they sleep. Oh, no way. That is the most precious, adorable thing I have ever seen. Look at them! And they're all holding hands together so they don't stray away from their partners and they make like a raft. I wonder if they float. <laughs> sea otters are like sea puppies. They are the most adorable things ever. I actually have a video on my phone when I went to the aquarium and I took video of this otter that was just spinning around and then this little kid comes up and says, I like your butt. I don't know if he was talking to me or the otter, <laughs> but I'll try to put the video in here so you can see. 
I have full rights to it, by the way. A group of pandas is called an embarrassment. <laughs> what? That's so mean. Do they just have a different meaning for embarrassing over there in Asia or wherever that is? <laughs> Dang, it sounds like my mom made this one. <laughs> It should say, what do you call a group of teenagers? And my mom's like, an embarrassment? Well, thanks, mom, jeez. <laughs> Look at these poor pandas. They're like, why are we embarrassing? They're so cute and fluffy, but they got claws and they'll hurt you. <laughs> Have you seen those videos of pandas, especially baby pandas that just keep rolling around and flopping <laughs> cause they don't want to be picked up? And that is it for random facts that will make you very interesting in your next conversation. <laughs> Comment below which one you're gonna share in your next conversation with a friend and let me know how that went. <laughs> if they looked at you funny or they actually thought you were interesting. <laughs> but yeah, again, be sure to give this video a like and a share and don't forget to subscribe, be a part of the Socially Awkward family and follow me on Instagram, links are down below. And yeah, that's it for today. So I will see you beautiful people next time.